Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In today's video, we're going to be looking at what I consider to be the best overdrive pedal of all time, which is this, the Thorpey Peacekeeper. I know loads of people have got their own favourite overdrive pedal. I did a video recently with James where we looked at our favourite distortion pedal, which was the Marshall the Governor pedal, which is a fantastic sounding sort of high gain distortion pedal. But this pedal is what Thorpey considers to be a low gain pedal. The reason why I consider this to be such a great pedal is because one, it works with every single guitar that you can throw it and two because i really consider this to be one of the only truly transparent overdrive pedals now what i mean by transparent is it really shows the sound of the guitar and by switching the pedal on, on certain settings you really just can't even hear that it's on now i've got this pedal plugged into my matches independence 35 over there and the clean sound sounds like this Now, with the settings that I've got on this pedal at the moment, if you switch it in, you can't even tell the pedal's on. So it really is that transparent. The first thing we can use this pedal for is a clean boost. This pedal has five different controls on it. You've got gain, you've got your treble, you've got volume, presence, and bass. Now, the thing that makes this pedal fairly unique, there are other pedals that do this, is the presence circuit, this button here, comes before the gain, and the active EQ, the treble and the bass, come after the gain. So what you can do with this pedal is to really shape any guitar sound. So if you've got a Les Paul, which I'm gonna demonstrate in a minute, uh, you can plug a Les Paul in, and it sounds absolutely fantastic. If I plug my Les Paul into my Clon pedal, to me it doesn't work at all. It's far too mid forward and you can't really shape the sound so it sounds any good. With this pedal, any guitar works. Now let's bring it back. For me, the ultimate setting on this pedal is everything about one o'clock. It sounds like this. Now, because the presence control comes before the gain, you get this really nice pick attack. Now, what I mean by that is when you use like higher gain pedals, something like the Marshall Governor, the guitar feels alive. There's something that happens with the amount of gain uh, and the reaction with the impedance probably with the guitar to the pedal that makes the guitar feel really reactive. Now, one of the reasons why I feel this pedal is really special, and I think it's because of that presence control, is that you get that but without having to use so much gain so your guitar feels immediately more reactive without having to use loads of gain the only two things that i don't like about this pedal one the led is brighter than the sun and two, which also is affected by the LED, the uh, the writing on it that's sort of etched into the metal, which is done really, really nicely, is incredibly hard to see. Now, when you're on a stage and that LED is blaring in your face and you're trying to see what the writing is, it's almost impossible. The most amount of gain that it will do. <laughs> So even though Thorpey say this is a low gain pedal, for me, you can get loads of gain out of this and that's more than enough gain that I would ever need to do a gig. But if you do want a little bit more gain out of it, if you stick a boost pedal, like I've got here, I've got a, uh, an Earthquake Devices Black Eye Boost, which is one of my favorite boost pedals. If I put that in front of this pedal, you can get all the gain you need. <laughs> Now,
Now, as I said earlier, it really works with any guitar. So if I pick up a Les Paul, and just use the same settings, you still got that extra bite with the Les Paul. But you don't get that mid bump when you use something like a Klon style pedal. And again, because of this presence control that comes before the gain, you can shake the pedal to really do whatever you want and it always sounds great. Now, just so you guys know, this is not a sponsored video. Thorpey don't even know that I'm making this video, but I really would consider this to be my favorite overdrive pedal of all time. It's not a cheap pedal by any means. Uh, you could buy them on the Thorpey website for 215 pounds, but it's one of those pedals that you would never ever want to part with. Anyway, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I really hope you guys got something out of this. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button, and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.